Justice Ubaidul Hassan has taken oath as the 24th Chief Justice of the country. Schedule of the 12 parliamentary elections will be announced in the first week of November, said EC. Visa policy has not been implemented on media personalities of Bangladesh, said the White House. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. I'm Ashiku Zaman with you in the newsroom today. You're watching the headlines. Now, the details. Justice Ubaidul Hassan has taken oath as the 24th Chief Justice of the country. At 7 past 11 a.m. in the Dorbar Hall of Bongo Bhavan, President Muhammad Shahabuddin administered the oath of the newly appointed Chief Justice. Some government ministers, appellate division and high court division judges were present at the oath-taking ceremony. Retired former Chief Justice Hassan Faiz Siddiqui was also present at Bongo Bhavan. Earlier on September 12, the President appointed Justice Ubaidul Hassan as the 24th Chief Justice of the country. Hassan Faiz Siddiqui's tenure as the Chief Justice ended on September 25th. Election Commissioner Anisur Rahman said that the schedule of the 12 parliamentary elections will be announced in the first week of November. Besides, he said that voting will be held at the beginning of January. He said these things at the inauguration ceremony of the distribution of smart cards in Sripur, Ghazipur. At the time, he said that citizens will be able to enjoy various facilities through the smart card with 25 security features up three levels. BNP Senior Joint Secretary Ruhul Kavir Rizvi Ahmed demanded that Khalid Azia be released and get medical treatment abroad. He said this after distributing leaflets in front of the party office in Noyapalton in the morning. He said that Although the party leaders who were sentenced by the government are being treated abroad, the seriously ill Begum Khalid Azia is not being given proper treatment. The leader said these things at the events. The Khalid Azia's treatment is not arranged immediately. There will be a strong movement. Two days ago, the U.S. Ambassador to Dhaka, Peter Haas, said that Bangladeshi media workers may also be included in the U.S. visa policy. However, the U.S. Department of State disagreed with his statement. At the regular press conference of the Foreign Office at Mon on Monday, Matthew Miller, the spokesperson said that the visa policy has been implemented not the media personalities but on members of Bangladesh's law and order forces, the ruling party and the opposition party. Miller also said that this visa policy has been announced for a free, fair and impartial election in Bangladesh. Bangladesh has created a means of coordination with modern technology in the world court, said Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momin. The main objective of the Equality Center is to bridge the global technological divide through the South-South Cooperation. Its mission is to build an equitable digital future through global technology transfer, research and financial support. In his speech, the foreign minister highlighted the development of Bangladesh's digital system, inclusive growth and journey of transmission from digital Bangladesh to smart Bangladesh. Noshin, this prominent businessman, Alhas Muhammad Nanumia, is no more. Inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi raziun. He died early this morning while undergoing treatment in a hospital in Dhaka. He was 63 years old at the time of his death. His body was taken to Farid Ganj in Chatpur after the first zanaza at Birampur in Madhubdi police station area of Narshindi. The end the headlines once again. Justice Ubaidul Hassan has taken oath as the 24th Chief Justice of the country.
schedule of the 12 parliamentary elections will be announced in the first week of November, said EC. Visa policy has not been implemented on media personalities of Bangladesh, said White House. The U.S. has imposed new sanctions against 16 companies in China and Russia. And Bangladesh bundled out for 171 runs against New Zealand in the third and last ODI of the series. That's all for now. To watch our news online, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. To watch our old programs, please visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be telecast at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.